traditional what is this word called traditional mm-hmm. there's traditional is not something that's been passed on I mean, from an anthropological mental lenses mm-hmm. uh we call them local practices we don't tradition is a very uh, debatable word what is tradition i mean is it something that's been passed on for thousands of years unchanged Can, is that really possible no that's not possible nothing gets passed on for thousand years without change there is always so there's nothing like uh nothing like unchanged knowledge uh these are local practices and the local people can predict and ha- or have a temper or, or have a feeling on the temperament of everything that's going around them mm. so that is the local knowledge so they just know when their trees are going to harvest when they're going to bloom uh when the when the when the seeds are going to be ripe what is the best time to uh uh to harvest them if there's a disease in them when when do you when do you actually intervene uh, which parts of the tree you remove so that there's a new burst and growth in the trees they exactly know how to work with the soil uh, how to keep it uh, rejuvenated uh where do, how do you produce this uh, organic uh, uh, sort of uh, manure um how do you work with your water system they have a a a deep understanding into all these these are local practices and these mostly are passed on from generation to generation so and and we see them in a time frame and then we, we think oh this is some traditional there's nothing traditional about it the guy the same guy for example who's working in central india if i brought him to deccan can he replicate his knowledge and do something there he won't be able to do it because uh the uh, the composition of the land the the trees that grow there everything becomes different so you need a local specialist in deccan plateau to to cater to those needs the guy in uh, in for example in madhya pradesh will not know anything about things in in central india so this is all very regional local specialization right right yeah so th- this is uh, th- that's very important in fact even within the state they change a lot just between landscapes they change i think indeed Yeah, so yeah. the the knowledge of local people when you put this and then we also have on the other side a very in-depth understanding of the of science and 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 about agriculture uh about uh, about animals the the role of animals in a landscape the role of soil in a landscape how to conserve water the minute you put in the scientific uh, the new scientific knowledge that we have along with the traditional practices you come up with this fantastic formula uh that is much much more holistic and sustainable than anything that we see uh uh in front of our, our screens here right. i mean the intensive landscape or the traditional landscape the uh, a, a fusion is, is fantastic right right and that would also allow you to increase your yields grow specialized uh, crops and also now you have you can have more abundance of the same normally in a modern farming system you would have all sorts of automation that that improves productivity and raises the yield Uh, yes. How would that happen if we are trying to do implement a traditional system? Traditional is the way in which it's a philosophy of how you actually dirty your ha- hands and legs, and how you actually understand not only from the planting perspective, but a holistic perspective on how you handle the soil, how you understand uh, the the function of these little birds and insects that are around your places. How do you make sure that if there's a nesting uh, area of, uh, for a, for example, a beehive or something that you don't disturb? because these these bees are very important for so many other functions so how do you respect all these other things which are actually uh, which are actually allowing you and your land and your soil and your water systems everything to thrive so basically that is what is local knowledge now if you want to integrate uh, as we were talking a, a, a few minutes earlier if you want to integrate for example drip irrigation to conserve water in this nothing wrong in that you're actually making it much better if you just left a stream a nala just open and then the water is being evaporated instead you can create a a, a system where the, the the streams are all covered with plants uh, or or grasses uh, and reduce the evaporation and and for commercial use what you do is you use a drip uh, farming uh, where the water is only given to the plants that needed it mm-hmm. so that way you if you have a very conserv conserve uh, if you have a conservation uh, oriented approach to it It, it gels very well with the with the traditional local methods. Mm. 